can we play one of the first table talk videos and you could tell us uh, about it? Sure. Cool. Coming on such short notice, as you know, Texas, New York, California, Florida, White Claw. What? Hmm? What? As I was saying, you four are the biggest states and potentially the most important. I know I'm important, but why is West Virginia here? Hello, all. Because West Virginia is the only state without a confirmed case. I have a question, DC. Were we supposed to be looking? Because I've checked like four people. <laughs> you can go, West Virginia. Okay, then. Goodbye, all. I like him. Why are we making such a big deal out of a hurricane anyway? We do this every year. It's not. It's not a hurricane? It was a ground invasion? Why would you think that? We have Jacksonville. They'll die. Florida, this is a global pandemic. Where have you been? Spring break. Duh. First one ever. Oh, man. Do they look so much better now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can kind of, kind of walk you through that one a little bit because a lot has changed. Uh, but I still remember making that one because it really wasn't that long ago. I think I posted that on March 30th. Um, so at that point, I didn't really have any states gear. I was just like, this is how I think the states would dress if they were people. And I grabbed whatever clothes I could find that kind of resembled them. I found the flamingo bucket hat just in my house one day. I don't know where it came from, uh, but I have it now and like, I'm never getting rid of it. I don't know, like I can't, people ask me if I can buy this. I don't know, I don't. This was just in my house. <laughs> this wasn't a thing I went out and looked for. It was just there. Um, it fits you the perfectly. The West Virginia one. Uh, yeah, no, it, it's really, it's honestly a very comfortable hat. <laughs> uh, the West Virginia character, I don't know why I thought like 1940s coal miner and I don't know why that's what I thought they dressed like, but that's what I had and that's what I went with. Uh, he, his character was actually inspired because I was just reading, I had just read an article about how West Virginia was the last state in America without a positive case. And then I read the article and it said, up until that point, West Virginia had tested, the entire state had tested a total of 40 people <laughs> in the entire state. And I was like, no, there's a case there. They just haven't found it. So West Virginia is just up there like, I don't even know that I'm supposed to be looking. <laughs> um, the little laugh that Florida gives after West Virginia says that, that was completely unplanned. It was part of a different thing. And when I went to edit it, I was like, you know what, this fits. And it became my favorite part of that whole video. It was just oh, a little cool chuckle that? that Florida gives. That's awesome. I edited all of that on my phone uh, using just an app called InShot. Um, and every video after that for a while, I just edited on my phone until eventually I got like a computer with Premiere Pro. And so now I do it on there. But it was uh, a handful. It took a lot of time. How long uh, do they take to write and edit? Oof. I've never really timed the writing process because there's a lot of research that goes into them now. Usually the process goes like, I'll post on Facebook once a week. Hey, what news stories from around the country have I missed? And I'll have like a thousand long comment thread of just people being like, did you see this out of Pennsylvania? Or did you see this out of Ohio? And I, I haven't, I haven't seen most stories. I'll see like four about Florida throughout the week and that's it. So I'll read the whole, like I'll let that simmer for like two hours, three hours. And then I'll go a little, a little later. I'll read all of the comments or as many as I can, can at one time. And I'll find the interesting ones and I'll make a note of that. And so now I have like a notepad with like 10 items on it. And then I'll systematically go through each item and I'll Google, you know, some keywords about it. And I'll find a few different articles. I'll usually go with something from like a local source, something uh, like an international one, and then something that like I trust. 
and I'll read all three of those and I'll get the facts. I, I, I won't talk about much else other than that. It's just the facts of what happened. And then when I sit down and write it, actual script writing only takes like an hour, hour and a half to sit down and write once I've done all of that. But that whole process takes a few hours in itself. Um, filming, depending on how many characters I have and how many times I have to change outfits, it could take anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour and a half just to film. Um, and I do that all that by myself. It's just me in the room, always. Um, like this is this is my bedroom. I have a table here, and I have my bed there, and that's it. Like that's all that I have. This has turned that's, into your cribs episode. Yeah, welcome to my crib. I have a wall <laughs> and a closet. <laughs> um, there's really not much that goes into it, and it's just me, and it takes a while. And then so after I have it filmed. I edit it, which takes, now that I have the streamlined process on Premiere Pro and I've been doing it for a while, I can uh, edit the full video in about four hours. Wow. That's, that's that, the average. About what, how long is each video? Uh, four minutes. And that's spe specific? I, no, it just has to be, I want it to be at least three minutes long. Um, Facebook does this thing where I can't actually monetize on Facebook unless the video is at least three minutes. Uh, so I try and shoot for about three minutes, which is not difficult to hit anymore because there's just so much happening all the time that at this point, I sometimes have to break my videos down into two separate videos because it would just take way too long for me to edit to actually get it out at like a decent time. Um, like the one that I, that I just wrote today it's like 12 pages long. And if I break it down, that'll give me like two, three minute videos or like one six minute video. And it just depends on how I'm feeling during the editing process. Cause I'll, I'll film all of it one time and then I'll sit down and be like, you know what? I'm tired. That's it. Three minutes. Um, and then TikTok only does 59 seconds. And because TikTok has such a big following, I actually have to tailor my script writing to TikTok. If you like looked at my script, they're like anywhere from 30 to 59 second long like sketches all just stacked on top of each other. Like I, I draw a line, I'll do like about 59 seconds worth of dialogue and then I'll draw a big line and then I'll start the next dialogue. But the first line of that dialogue has to be some sort of connection or transition between this sketch and this sketch. So when you watch the full four or five minutes, it feels consistent. But if you're just watching on TikTok, they're full start, middle, end, start, middle, end, start, middle, end. And five minutes of just like six or seven different start, middle, ends is the full video. Um, and it's, it's a challenge to write, but I like it. I like the challenge of doing it. Uh, have you found it hard to keep up with the news? Like, will you start writing and then find out something's outdated or there's more yeah. info? Oh yeah, every video. <laughs> every single video, something has changed by the time I post it. Because um, I try and stay very current. Things that have happened last week. Uh, most recently, I think I did a video and part of the video was about how the Trump administration was saying they won't let foreign students stay in America if they're not taking at least one in-person class this fall. And the day that I posted that video, not even 10 minutes after I posted it, the Trump administration was like, okay, we submit, we're not doing it anymore. And so I had just had to make a separate post all together and be like, hey, it wasn't me, but like, was it? <laughs> you know, I think it was me. And uh, when I posted it on TikTok, I actually posted that section like, two days after they had already revoked it. So I just made the first comment of the video, like, hey, this is actually done now. Like <laughs> I posted this and then I and then I didn't and it's done. So just don't worry about it. And how do people react to that? They love it most of the time. Most of the time my updates outside of the video are good news. Um so they they enjoy it. 
most of my updates are things like, well, this is how this ended and people are happy, or this is how this ended and people are mad and people will just comment on top of that. Like, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. I get a lot of comments from people that say things like, should I be getting my news from an internet comedian? <laughs> and my response is always, I am the Senate, I am the news. <laughs> I am the walrus. Um, 